Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. So today is the day for Fay Farms update. This is the second DLC. I actually haven't played this game since the last DLC. So when I opened up the game today, I had no idea where I was. I almost forgot what buttons to use. But I did remember from the last DLC that we had to go to sleep. So let's do that. Let's go home. Let's go to sleep and see what happens the next day. So the update happened at 11 o'clock this morning. Look, we've got some new mail, some new quests. So let's go and check out the mail. A new day has begun and I totally forgot that I had equipped a bee as my pet, but I love it. All right, so free things for our favorite Fay farmers. This letter is from Ginger. This is from the Fay Farm team. We actually got a new dress. It's a spring petal dress, which as you can see, I clearly don't know how to collect items anymore in Fay Farm. So this is from Kestrel. A plea from the clouds our lands are in desperate need so basically it's gonna tell us what we need like you know it's the new realm so skies of Azoria part one begins all right so I collected my petal dress here's the new quest it says plant and grow press kestrels beans in the magical plot north of your home and I was thinking, okay, well, where's north? <laughs> it's up. It should be in behind. And here's a look at our new outfit that we got from Bay Farm, from the game, from the developers, from Ginger. And it's all the way at the end. It's the spring petal dress. It is actually so pretty. I am going to be putting it on. So I'll show you guys a little bit, like um, more of a close up of what it looks like when you put it on but it's super cute anyways let's get moving and let's go and let's go plant the these beans that we got and then I guess we have to like water them so I went up north and then look at how pretty this looks there's like a rainbow and then there's like a bubbly like colorful lake so I just planted my beans and I watered it and yeah then I didn't realize I guess here I didn't realize that I had watered it because I was like maybe I need more water but looking back at playing it does look like I did water it obviously so what I'm gonna do now is clearly I don't know how to play this game anymore but I'm gonna get used to it I'm gonna have to get used to it and fast so I guess this is where I had left off last time. I guess I was trying to like use, I don't even know what that item is called anymore, but I guess I was trying to use that to create uh, different fruit trees. But yeah, so here's the outfit. This is what it looks like as is, but of course I'm going to customize it to pink. And then rather than wasting time, let's just go to sleep. We have to... I guess we have to water the bean stalk for three days before it to fully grow. So let's go do that. Let's not waste any more time and let's get this bean going. Okay, so this is the last day to water the bean and the beanstalk and look at how massive and how quickly it grew. So what we have to do now is press A to climb the beanstalk. My game kind of froze there and I was like, uh oh, but it made it, it made it through. So this is the first person we're going to talk to. This is Kestrel. He is the one who sent us the bean and now we have a new friend in the clouds. How cute. So basically, he is going to tell us to go and talk to uh, Gusto. Yes, that's his name. So we do get a new map. So this is Gusto 
this is the next quest to go meet Gusto. So we do get a new map and I'm gonna pull that up and show you guys, but look, we can fly. Look, I'm flying. That's exciting. All right, anyways, back on track. This is Griff. That's another person that we have to talk to later. So here's the new map. This shows just Windhaven. And let's go and meet Gusto. Look, look, here he is. He's so cute. He looks kind of sad though. But now we're going to have to go and meet Finn. So Gusto tells us to go meet Finn, who's just right over here. Finn then sends us, sends us on this quest to find some items, which at first I was like, holy smokes, how are we going to find these items? But you guys, they are really easy to find and I will show you where they all are. So the items that we need to collect are eight cottonwood trees, eight night berries, eight star sand, and eight feather grass. So here we are, I'm looking around, trying to figure out what, where these items are. They obviously have to be located here in this area because they're definitely not. So these are the trees. These are the cottonwood log trees. Look at how cute they are. They're literally trees with clouds on them. So this is where you get the cottonwood trees from. You can get cottonwood fluff. This is etherite ore, ore. I don't know how to pronounce that, but these are rough opal. And these tall grass, this is the feather grass. So these are the other things that we need. And then I'm going to show you where the night berries are. They're actually just those like glowing berries in those little bush trees or little bushes that you'll see right there. You see those little blue glowing things? Those are the night berries. And now the only thing left is the star sand so i was like maybe there's a beach here but i don't think that there's a beach i thought maybe we they would tell us to go there like to a beach sand i don't know but it's actually these purple mounds right here these are the star sand so pretty easy to collect right away and now let's go head back to finn and let's go see what finn has to say All right, so here's Finn again. We now have his ingredients, Gusto's ingredients to make his favorite meal. So we have to build four star soil beds and then plant these seeds. And I was like, oh my God, how do we make these beds? And then I remembered, oh yeah, they're like, we have to craft them. But I couldn't figure out because like I was saying, I haven't played this game in like, six months so here are the seeds that we need to plant moon melon seeds and we also i can't remember the name of the other fruit that we have to plant so here i'm thinking okay how do we plant these starry fruit tree seeds and i was like okay how do we plant these we have to make the soil beds can i make the soil beds here so quick tip you at least not that i know of you can't make them here. So I went into my almanac and the first time I guess I didn't go down far enough because I was like, where are these beds? Like, how do I craft these? Then I went to go talk to Finn again to see if maybe Finn would give us a recipe for them, but Finn didn't have a recipe. So here I'm like, mm, maybe I could just buy it, but there's only the two seeds to buy. Then I talked to this person, Phoebe, and I was like, mm, okay, think. Let's think, how are we gonna do this? So essentially what it is, is you have to go home. And if you scroll all the way down in your almanac, that's where you'll see right there, the star soil bed. 
So to make it, we need star soil sand, cotton wood log, and feather grass, which as you can see, I have quite a bit of. But yeah, so basically what it is, is we have to go back home unless there's a spot here, which I didn't find one, but I also didn't really explore much either. So we just have to go home and there isn't a way, at least I haven't figured out a way to warp here yet. So we're just going to have to keep climbing up and down the beanstalk. So here I am, I'm just going to collect a few more things as I go and I'm going to go home so that I can craft up this uh, bed and plant the melon trees and then you actually have to water them for three days before they grow. So let's go do that. Okay, so here we are on the third day. I'm gonna water them one more time. They should be fully grown now, and we should be able to just pluck them, and let's go head back up the beanstalk so we can continue on with this quest. So here we are talking again to Finn. We've now have Gusto's favorite meal. We've got his crops grown. And basically now we have to make him a salad. And then I was like, is there a spot here to make a salad? Of course not, because that would just be too easy. So here I am going to see if I can find the recipe for the cloud salad. Is that, is that what it's called? Yeah, I think it's called the cloud salad. And of course, at first I couldn't find it in the almanac under food and drink because again, I've completely forgotten how to play this game. And then I was like, okay, no, let's go look again. And then I scrolled all the way to the bottom and look, here is some new recipes. There is the cloud star salad. So we need the cooking hearth, we need night berries, starry fruit and moon melons. So let's go home, let's go make this salad and bring it back to Gusto. All right, we made it back to Gusto. I don't know, does he look a little bit happier? He should be. Look at all the effort I went to to make his salad. So here I am giving it to him. He looks a little bit happier. And now he's gonna tell us to go and talk to somebody else, not Finn. We're gonna go and talk to Griff. So Griff is gonna tell us, do you see that glowing thing behind him? That's where we're gonna enter. So now we're going to go to a nearby star vault gate. We're going to collect a star and bring it back. So let's head in here. Look at this. This kind of reminds me of like going into the floating mines. And there's a nice little lookout spot, a nice view area. It looks really empty in here. So I just kept walking and it tells me to use this. This creates a bridge basically. So I'm just gonna head back to the entrance, up the stairs and over the bridge. And right at the end of the bridge is the first star. So we collected our first fallen star. 
just going to head straight through the portal again. We're going to talk to Griff and hand him the star and redeem that story quest. And then he's going to tell us that we are the only ones who could do it. There's a whole bunch that we have to collect, five of them in total, and bring them to Gusto. So I'm going to end the video here. My first impression so far is there's actually a lot more to do in this DLC than the other one, the, the what is it, Coasts of Krokia. There's already a lot more to do. I'm actually really looking forward to getting back into playing this game, and I hope you guys are too. Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. So this is my second video of Fae Farm, the new DLC, Skies of Azoria. In my last one, I left off kind of right after this. So this is me giving Gusto his salad that I made for him. And then he said, go talk to Griff. So here I am talking to Griff. We're going to start a new quest, Where the Stars Fall. So basically, we have to go into the vault, star vault, which is the glowing thing right behind Griff, where let's go through here, and we have to find five stars. So collect all of the stars in the star vault and complete a star vault. That is our next quest. The first one is pretty easy. All you do, go down the stairs, straight to the end, press A, and this bridge appears. We walk over the bridge, we collect the star on this little podium, and we leave. Simple, straightforward, we found a fallen star, and now we're gonna leave. All right, let's go back in. Well, actually, sorry. Let's talk to Griff, because We've now redeemed this part of this of the quest and then we're gonna go back in so my game started glitching I don't know it got like really choppy so this is the second one to be honest with you I don't really know what I did here I just pressed it hit a twice and then I hit these podium things and then they just disappeared look at the clouds just so pretty so that's the second one. I, I don't really know what I did, but I did it. All right, so here's the third one. We can see these four pillars. And once you press A here, this little dude appears. And I was like, who is this guy? I gotta kill him. So then that's what I did. I went full on combat mode and I killed him. But then I realized after you'll see that you know what he's actually going to break these pillars so once you kill him three little ones appear you can kill those and actually you know what even if you kill them you get like when you go into your almanac and you'll see the dungeoneering you'll see that you've defeated more like enemies all right, so here I went back to the beginning, pressed A to make him appear again, and look at that, he busted the pillar. So we just have to do this three more times. So now that the fourth pillar is busted, I'm gonna go back here and the second pillar thingy opens up and do you see how it's green? Yeah, this guy comes up, he springs you into the air. So I actually switched my spell to the green one and then I killed him and that's what opened up the portal. And then I just used him to jump up and leave. So, yeah, it took me a little bit to figure that out. Now it's nighttime, and actually one of you guys left a comment when, because my previous video, I said I couldn't find the, like, you know, when you warp here, but you can, and what you need is the opal seal. So these are the items you need to make the opal seal. So 
I'm going to go back home and I'm going to craft this. We will then go to sleep, wake up the next morning, and we're going to head back to finish up this star quest. But first what I want to do is use the opal seal so that it does open up and we can teleport here. I think they're called way shrines. All right. So this is star number four, and it's quite a bit of work to do to get here. So the first one is actually pretty easy because the bridge appears, and you just have to step on these little pillars in order. And the second to like the fifth or sixth one, they got a little bit harder and harder as I tried, but eventually I got it done. Wait, that was star number three. This is star number four. And I don't know if it was supposed to do this, but it did. And it made me do that same one again. So here we go. Let's do this again. I'm gonna speed it up because we just did it. And this is how you get star number four. So after I got star number four, it was getting pretty late. So I went home and I went to sleep and came back the next day. I used the portal or the way shrine and got here pretty quick and then I realized the glowing thing behind Griff actually stopped glowing so you have the like the vault moved so this is the next one here this one was actually so hard I don't know if it was hard or maybe I just didn't know what to do at first because it took me like a hot minute a hot 20 minutes to get this done. So here we can see the shadow. I'm going to get rid of all of those shadows and like collect all of these things that are here. And then once I do that, you'll see me struggle to try to figure out how to get the fifth star. So finally I figured out to bring this table thingy a little bit closer to this left hand side. It'll propel us into the air and then we can get to the left hand side and eventually that opens up the portal in the back or the door and we can collect our fifth star and head over to Gusto because I guess that's what he's been missing this whole time. That's why he was so sad. And once we brought him all five of the stars, look at how happy he is and he's just obsessed with us. Look how cute he is. So now that we've brought the gusto back to gusto, we have one more thing that we need to do. We actually need to buy something from his store is basically what he's saying. And this is what it is. We have to buy a weather effect. So I guess we can start controlling the weather on our farms once we buy all of these effects from him. So I'm gonna open up his shop. These are the effects. This one here, well, we these are the items that we need to make all of these. So I was like, okay, either I go home and come back the next day or let's try to catch a butterfly and maybe it'll give us some flutter dust. So here's the butterfly. I'm going to catch him and look at that. We got some flutter dust. So I'm going to head back to Gusto. It's getting pretty late. I want to do this all today. So I'm going to head back to Gusto, open up his shop, and I'm going to buy the, which one is this one? Rain on my second farm.
And once we do that, we finish part one of Skies of Azoria. So I guess all of this magic stuff happens overnight because we'll apparently see this when we wake up. All right, so Gusto does the weather. Story Quest is now redeemed. Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video is another Fae Farm video. Let's get part two started of the new DLC, Skies of Azoria. So it took a couple of days, so be patient. A couple of days of you just wasting days going to sleep and eventually a new quest will be available when you wake up there's going to be some new mail let's go check out the new mail it is from who is this from kestrel so there's some trouble brewing in skyvale so gusto disappeared from his favorite spot luckily we noticed some rain falling in the bay realm so that's where we're gonna go the letter tells us to go and plant a beanstalk near the Fay Farm. No, yeah, the Fay Farm. So let's go head to the Fay Realm. I don't know why I walked there. I have no idea. I mean, I could have just used the shrine, whatever they're called, and just like, you know, time traveled there, but I don't know. I decided to walk. Anyways, it's behind our house in our fae, like fey realm farm. So I'm going to plant the beanstalk. We got to water it for three days. I just went to sleep in this house just because I was there. And yeah, so this is now day two of me watering this beanstalk. And then we will water it one more time. So three times, just like we did the last one and then we'll be able to travel to this next world. Our beanstalk is fully grown. We're gonna climb it and we're going to end up, I can't remember what this is called. This is, we had to meet Kestrel, who's like right when we climb up the beanstalk. And basically what Kestrel is going to say, there's more news from above. They're going to welcome us back and he's going to say, well, Gusto's pretty pissed and he was asking about us. So it looks like we have more stuff to do, which is actually really exciting because the first DLC was so disappointing. Very, very disappointing. All right. So right away, we have to go and meet Gusto. He's here somewhere. And actually, one of you guys commented on my video and said he's such a cute owl. I don't know why I didn't see him as an owl. I don't know what happened there. But look at him. He's definitely an owl. He's not like blathers. But yeah, he's an owl. Anyways, Starlight Isles. That's what this one's called. Okay, so he's welcome, welcoming us to Starlight Isles, and he's saying, you know, you have to help me get some more powerful stars. Go and talk to Griff. I'm like, okay, let's go talk to Griff. Let's go find Griff. So here I am. I'm just going to collect some resources here because I did see that there is a portal to teleport here as well, and you need a moonstone. I don't know where to get the moonstones yet, but we're going to figure it out. Anyways, here is Griff. He's saying that the stars are not enough. We're going to have to get and do more star vaults. But in order to do that, we need the magic of a potion, a true sight potion. So what we have to now do is we have to go and talk to Heron. Heron is in the other realm, the first realm, the cloud one. So let's go do that i again was just collecting some more resources because i was looking for that moonstone so i can make the seal so that we can come here fast i don't know i'm gonna have to look harder because i couldn't find it in this first little spot but what i did find is if you climb up this tower look at that view gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous anyways you can fly here too as you see so let's go do that let's go back 
to the Fey realm, like the Fey, I, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. <laughs> this part, this part, so that I can travel way shrines. That's what they're called. So we're going to go and we're going to find Heron. I'm going to pull up my map, find out where exactly Heron is, and here is Heron. So Heron's going to tell us that we need to go and talk to Finn and buy some seeds from Finn. We're then going to have to plant those seeds and then bring them back. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to go talk to Finn because Finn is the one who sells the seeds. I bought them all. I don't know why, but we don't need them all. We need just two of them, nightroot seeds and cloudy flower seeds. Now that we have these, I'm going to have to travel home and then create some more beds so that I can plant these and then we have to water them. So these ones do actually the ones that we need actually do take a few more days to plant or like to flower to flower to water and i think how many days is it how many days did i do it for one two three four i think five days maybe six days because as you can see it's raining here so that saved me a day from having to water them but I'm just going to clean up my farm here and this is day number, so the day we planted, day the next day, the day after that, so that's already three times that we had to water them. And look at me, I literally watered six plants, maybe seven, yeah six plants and I'm already sweating. Like, come on girl, please. Alright, so this is three, so the first day it already rained when I planted them. The second day I watered them. This is now, I think, the third day. Oh, I've already lost count. Four days. I think this is the fourth watering. Because yeah, these ones grew pretty fast and then it took a couple more days for the ones that we actually need to grow. So let's get that done let's get these growing so that we can go and bring them back So now that they're fully grown and I've collected them, it is time to head back to Windhaven and see Heron, who's then gonna tell me that I need to make that True Sight Potion. So in order to make the True Sight Potion, there's a couple of ingredients that we need these items for. And those items, so here I was like, okay, I couldn't remember how we get to see like what the recipes are but then I remembered it's in the almanac under magic we're gonna go to potions and if you scroll all the way to the bottom that's where you're gonna see the new stuff that we need so I'm just gonna keep scrolling down and here I am like trying to read these and figure out exactly where it is but basically here it is. So here's the sm small true sight potion. So we need the call cloudy flower, I was gonna call it cauliflower, cloudy flower chunks, and then whatever the other chunks are. So if we keep going down, scrolling down in the almanac, cloudy flower chunks is what we need, and the night, no, we don't need those. Yeah, the night root bites, I think. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna craft these, I'm gonna craft the potion, and then we're gonna head to part two, the new realm, which now I can't remember what the name is. Oh, you guys, why am I the worst? I'm really sorry. 
But yeah, anyways, I'm going to make these. These are the cloudy flower chunks and these are the night root bites. Once those are made, collect those and put them into the cauldron to make the true sight potion. And then let's head back because we have to go and who do we meet? We have to meet Griff. That's who we have to meet, who's going to tell us what to do next. Right, so here is Griff. I've told him that I have crafted the potions. He's going to tell us we can see the star vault right behind him is now glowing. He's going to say we have to enter the star vault. We have to collect one of the rare fallen stars. And then basically, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go in. And first, I'm just going to take the true sight potion right away because might as well. And then let's figure out in this star vault what we have to do. So let's enter. Look at how pretty the like glow is that is around us with this true sight potion. Okay, so right away, this is what we're dealing with. So right away, we're gonna go to this cauldron and we're gonna use it. So as you can see, it shines a light right in front of us and we can see something. So here on the left-hand side, do you see right there in the middle, there's something there that we have to press A to use it. I clearly didn't see it even with this true sight potion. So my potion actually ended up like I took too long. So it ended up burning through. So I had to do the potion twice to figure out what I needed to do so that we can collect the rare star and finish this part of the quest. So here I figured out, okay, I, I used it. So I'm going to take a look. I don't know why I decided to take the potion again, but I did. I thought maybe there was something more to see in here, but yeah, so here I am. I'm going to use the first cauldron, go up the stairs. And then I was like, how do I get in there? Like I have to use that. And that actually opens up the door. Do you see that here? The door is open. This on the left-hand side, I think we can bust it and get some, jewels and stuff maybe the moonstone is in here I don't know but I couldn't bust it and maybe that's because I had the potion I don't know anyways here is that rare fallen star we're gonna leave and then we're gonna talk to Griff again who's gonna be like oh my god you found it that's amazing I'm gonna redeem the quest and there we go the story quest a rare in the glare is now done Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how I got six rare stars. This was actually so hard and I couldn't believe, like, I don't know. <laughs> this reminded me of like the mines because the mines were so hard for me. Anyways, so if you guys watched my last video, I did the first star, which we don't actually get credit for, if you notice that. Like this part of the quest says go and find, like go into the vault star and collect a rare fallen star in the star vault and then bring it back. So this is the first one. I did this in my last video. You need the rare sight. I think that's what it is, the rare sight or the true sight potion. And the reason why you need that is because it gives you this like orb of light around you and it allows you to see things that normally actually aren't there. So there is something on the left hand side on the wall on the ground right there. And you need the potion in order to see it. And it took me a little bit and I kind of fluked out I think when I even saw it but here I am I'm going to be taking the true true sight potion again and gonna hope that actually opens up the door 
where we can then collect the rare star and just leave. It tells us to talk to Griff, and then Griff says, okay, well, now you need to collect six more. So even though we collected that one, it actually didn't count, which sucks. So now we have to find another star vault. So this is the one that I got to collect the first one. So apparently there's so many different ones, and I didn't realize that until I did the video, like the when we had to get the ones for like the, like the first part. But yeah, there's like different ones. So this is the one that I got to collect the first star. Basically, you just keep going up the stairs and eventually it's there. It also took me a little bit to realize that the purple stars are the rare ones and the blue ones are just the normal stars. So here we are. We're gonna meet our little friend again, which I ended up busting him open, and then I realized that there's that spot in the back here that I think he's supp he's supposed to actually bust. I tried to do the smash spell, and I don't know. Like, that obviously wasn't the right one. This one here, the bash one. I tried to do that, and I don't know. It didn't work. I think our buddy is actually supposed to be the one that busts it. So I kind of messed up on that one because I killed him first. But here I am. I'm just going to continue going up the stairs, up, up, up the stairs. This one is the one we can bash. And that leads us to our purple rare star. So we can leave. So this now is number two. This one I found is kind of like an obstacle course. But basically what it is, you press the A on the left one. It opens up this one here to press A, which actually opens the door to right here on the left-hand side. So you just kind of jump across on the elevator. I busted this guy too. I don't know if I was supposed to, but I did. So I fought him. And then it opened up, so coming here opens up that little cauldron or, I don't know, pedestal, which eventually this is where we need to come to get the star. So there you can see the floating blue star, but we need the purple one. And the purple one is on the right-hand side. So this is going to beam us up. There's a little ledge right there, which has a button that we have to press. So I have to go back and do that again. And once we press the button, that actually opens up the door on the right hand side so we can collect the purple star. So hitting that button on the door did open up, or on the wall, did open up the door on the right hand side. So let's head over there. I didn't clear the smoke, but you can clear the smoke. I just kind of kept starting, like I just started jumping around and that allowed me to kind of like jump over it. As you can see, I'm trying to, um, I changed my spell, but I don't have any mana left so I didn't think that I was going to be able to clear it so I didn't but there is a moonstone in that black cloud and we need five of them to make the seal so that we can just travel quickly to this part of the DLC so here I am I'm just kind of busting everything my purple star is just like come collect me and there we go now i've collected it i can leave and we can move on to number three
So this is the one that I got to collect star number three. The blue star is so easy to collect. The purple one actually on this one was super easy as well. There is the, that smoke there, but again, I didn't clear it and I'm sure that they, they'll have moonstones there as well. So this little guy, what I did was I brought him over to these two glowing spots on the floor and that changed what they are and then I used him to propel me up to the back where the purple star was and then I was able to leave. So that ended up closing up the portal and I did move to the next day and went to find the fourth portal or the portal for the fourth one and this brought me back to the exact same one that I already did to get like to collect number two. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I got this one again. But I did. I was hoping for something different. There was one actually that I got to and it actually glitched out on me and I wasn't able to finish it because I just kept falling and then eventually my screen went black and then I just continued to fall. So yeah, this is a repeat level to get the rare stars which is kind of disappointing but at least I knew where everything was. And this time I had enough mana to clear the black smoke, which is where I realized that there is a moonstone on the black, like in the black smoke. So definitely clear that and collect the moonstones. Cause like I said, you need five of them to make the seal so that we can travel here quickly. And here I am at the same level to get star number five. Again, super disappointing. I was hoping for the one that I got where my game ended up glitching out because that one seemed actually pretty hard and pretty challenging. And I remember spending like four or five days trying to get that level done just for it to end up glitching and having me fall forever. So here we are with this one. At least it's simple enough, again, that I know what I'm doing. And again, I didn't clear the smoke on this one either. This little guy, I'm not sure what he was doing, but he wasn't moving at first, which made me mad. So I was like, come on, buddy, I need you to move so that you can change whatever this is on the floor so that I can just collect the purple star and just keep going. So the next location for the Star Vault is this one here, and there's actually a ton of rough moonstone just sitting outside. This is like a gold mine here. So here I am just collecting everything that's just out here for my taking, and then we can go into the vault and get our last rare star so that we can go to Gusto and move forward in this game. So this one here, again, brought me back to that same easy level. Again, disappointing that I didn't get a different, you know, something different to try. But some of them are actually really hard. And from the comments that you guys have left in my videos previously, have said that this is super hard and that they're stuck on 
this one getting like all six of them. Alright, so now with all six of my rare stars, let's go find Gusto so that we can give him the stars and let's see what he has to say. So look at him, he is just waiting for us because he knew that we'd get the job done. So let's go ahead and give him the stars and finish this part of the quest. Here Gusto is telling us that his weather shop is now open so we're gonna have to purchase a weather effect from him so let's go in and open up his shop so in part one four weather effects opened so now three more have opened so let's go check them out so these are the first four from the old from part one now we have rain on your first farm and rain on your second farm. I, I don't know, I don't think that they're in order. So let's go and see if we can catch some bugs and if they'll leave us some, I don't know, I think it's, what do we need? It's one of the, what is it that we need again? I don't have any of the other material. This guy, he's gonna give it to us, ecto do. That's what it is. So now that I have that, now that I've bought the weather effect, part two of Skies of Azoria is now complete. Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be starting and hopefully completing part three of the new DLC from Fay Farm. So, the last video I found the rare stars and we finished up that one. Right now what I'm actually going to do is travel back, back to Starlight Isles because I did make the seal finally for this way shrine so we can travel here quickly. I'm going to head home and basically go to sleep and hopefully we can get part three started soon. So that's two nights of sleeping. And now on the third day, I received the new mail from Kestrel telling me that I need to go and plant the last of the magic beans to our mountain, like so the winter side. So let's go do that. Skies of Azoria part three has officially begun. Let's go travel to the frozen farm. So it says here to plant the beanstalk in close to our frozen farm. So here I am clearly struggling because I can't find the location for the, to plant it. So I'm gonna go everywhere <laughs> to try to find it. And then I realized it says close to the farm. So let's head back to the farm and I will show you guys the location in case you're stuck with where to find it. Okay, so back on the farm, right past the well, literally right there, the one spot I didn't look, of course. So let's plant our beans, water it, and let's move forward and water that bean every single day so we can eventually climb up or it'll grow fully and then we can climb up it. So this area in part three is called Howling Heights. And here we are, here's Kestrel. Kestrel's going to tell us that Gusto is requesting us urgent news from above. We're going to have to go and talk with, we're going to have to go find Griff 
Look at the view from here. It's gorgeous. Let's go talk to Griff. Griff is saying, let's redeem our quest. So welcome to Howling Heights. So Griff is going to say Gusto's been really upset about something. His magic isn't working right. And basically, let's go and talk to Gusto. So let's go find him. I don't know if this was the easiest way, but eventually I got there. Look, he's deep in thought. He is going to tell us eventually the vault's, uh, vault's default is this story quest that we've redeemed. He is going to ask us for our help, which most likely means we are going to have to craft some more soil beds. And we have to talk to Finn because we need to buy some seeds from Finn. So here's where the seal is located for Howling Heights. And it was actually pretty easy to craft this one. Um, you're gonna need a lot of buff bonnets as well. So hold on to those, the twilight time we're gonna need. And this rock right here, this is the Alexandrite that we need in order to craft the seal so we can travel here quickly. This is what we need. We need a few items, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go home so that I can, like I already have the material, I'm going to go home and I'm going to craft this seal and then let's go talk to Finn. Okay, so here is Finn. Now this is where I messed up because I thought that each time you bought like an item, like a seed, that we only got one. That's not true. We actually get two of them. So don't be like me and waste your material. Only buy, only buy one item each because we will get two of these seeds each. This is what we need to harvest. So here I am. I'm going to buy whatever I can. So open up the shop and here we go. Here are the seeds. So do you see how it says like crescent chili seed times two? So you only have to buy one. I ended up buying two. So I ended up with four before I even realized. So then what I had to do is resource some more materials and some more items so that I could buy some more. And that honestly took me forever so don't be like me only buy one seed because you get two of them each time So I'm back here with some more materials and here at this point I still hadn't realized I'm still buying two of each one which like I said then I ended up with four and then I realized wait a minute after I checked my backpack why do I have so many because I didn't want to keep buying multiples so now here I am traveling all around the world basically to get more materials when I didn't even need to. Before I came back here, I picked up the seal because it was done crafting. I'm going to use it to open up the way shrine. So like I said, it's just easier to travel in between all of these worlds that way. Here I am still struggling to find all of the material. I do eventually find it and make my way back to Finn. And that's when I realized, look, this is where I realized, wait a minute, why do I have four each of these items? Like, what am I doing here? So then this is when I realized when I found Finn, 
only by one. I'm such a dum dum. All right, these are the last two seeds that I needed. Actually, maybe I think there's one more. It's the cloudy one that I needed, I think. So I'm just gonna grab a couple more things to get that seed, then I can go back to Finn and finally finish this off. Like I really wanna get this done today so that I don't waste another day like planting them. So I really, really need to get this done. And I think that was the last bit of items that I needed to go back to Finn and buy the last seed, which is the cloud flower seed. I always wanna call it cauliflower. So now I can make my way home, plant them, and then start the process of watering them every day. Some of them do get made, like they grow really fast, and then some of them do take a lot more time. So be prepared to waste a lot of days if you just wanna get it done, or I don't know, I guess occupy your time with other things to do in the game. The day I planted it is day one of watering. This is now day two of watering all of the crops. Look how pretty the soil looks. I actually think it looks really nice. And then I'm just going to keep going uh, just to see how long it takes. So now this is day three. You can see the crops are coming in nicely. Day four, the star fruit is ready. And same with the moon melon. So it only took four days for those two to grow. This is now day five of me watering. Let's see what crops are ready on day five. I don't think any of them are actually. Actually this one might be. It looks like it is. It looks like brains. It looks like green cauliflower but it's not. Okay so they're not ready so let's move to the next day. It's raining. It's an easy day. The night root is ready and what else is ready? Not the chili. Oh the cloudy flower is ready. And now we can move forward to the next day. It's still raining. These two are not ready at all. So let's just keep going. I'm on the last day of summer and they're finally ready. What is that called? Calabash? Yeah, calabash and the crescent chili. So I'm watering it and then that makes it ready. So now it's time to take all of these crops back to Gusto in Howling Heights so that we can continue on with the quest. And here we are at Gusto. He told us that we've redeemed our story quest and wants us to talk to Griff, who's going to tell us what to do. And basically what's next is we need to find seven, seven stars. So this one is a bit different because in the previous two, they let us go through one of the star vaults to collect one of the stars. This time they didn't. They just want us to do seven, and those are super hard. I don't know if you guys have done it yet or not, but I found it to be so hard. I got to three and then my game started glitching. So I need four more. Hopefully I can get them done soon. Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video is going to be another Fay Farm video. As you can see, I still have to get all seven of the legendary stars from the Howling Heights Part 3 DLC. So let's go do that. 
this was hard I'm not gonna lie so this was actually the first one that I got I spent probably three days just falling in this level as you can see I have no idea what I'm doing I don't even know like how I even landed on some of these platforms but yeah this was actually really really hard so here I am falling again and to be honest with you getting this star was actually a complete fluke I ended up going back towards the entrance of the vault here I'm like contemplating my Fay farm life because I'm like this is just so hard all right so here we go I just fell honestly I just fell went through some clouds and landed here and there is the first legendary star I know nothing spectacular I didn't even bother with the rest of them actually maybe I got one more I can't really remember because it took me like you guys have no idea how long this took me actually to get all seven of them and because my game first of all started glitching and it just pissed me off and then some of the vault levels that I got were super hard so I guess you do have to get the purple and the blue star in order to carry on but I was like I'm not about that life I'm just gonna leave through the vault door that I came in and then I went through the next one this is the next level that I got this was I mean it wasn't hard but it wasn't easy actually it was mid I would say it's mid anyways so here I am collecting all of the resourcing resources and busting that guy and we've got the elevators kind of in the background that are going back and forth that we can hop over to and collect like some more items on the other side and that is where the legendary star actually is it's just across onto the other side this one I would say once I figured it out like I said it's it's mid once I figured it out it was pretty easy Basically, once you're on the far left-hand side, the star is right by the exit, so pretty easy once you figure it out. Alright, on to the next one. This is going to be star... Actually, I don't know what happened to star number three, but I got the same level for star number four. And then this. This is the one that I got for star number five. Like, first look is like, what is happening here? And then I realized, look at these buttons here. You need to press all of the buttons because what it does is it actually opens up these bridges, like these magical bridges. It took me a really long time to figure that out, like longer than it should, as you can see. Yep. There we go. Now I'm like, whoa, those bridges appeared. So yeah, you just basically have to push all of them have all of the bridges appear and just kind of make your way through each little level and eventually you will get to this, the yellow legendary star. Once you make it to this portal here, you take this bridge all the way to the left, you jump through the open door and there is a wall right here that's blocking you. You need to use the bash um, spell. Yeah, the bash spell. It will bust open the door. And there is the floating legendary star that we need. So let's collect that. And then we can leave. So this one, once you figure it out, is pretty simple. At first look, it's pretty like daunting I would say because there's a lot of levels going on 
But yeah, so once you collect that, apparently there's two in this one. I missed that. Playing it back now, I realize that there's two in here. I don't know how I missed it. I don't know how to get to the second one. So if you guys know how to get to the second one, then please leave a comment down below because yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Down on the ground, there is a door here. It's gonna tell us to use the green um, power spell. I don't know. Anyways, it's a secret way. <laughs> and you end up going through one of the portals, which takes you actually right to the door so we can leave. And now we have five out of seven. This one here is number six. We've done this one before, or at least I did this one before in, I think maybe part two, maybe even in part one. But basically this guy, he's gonna propel you up and that is eventually how you get the star and how you get out of here. The easiest way that I found is to hop, have him propel you to the left hand side where you can just hop over the bridge, collect the star and just leave. That's the fastest way that I found. So there's six out of seven and let's go find the last one. And it's the exact same level. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing that I did the last time and then we can go and talk to Gusto and finish off part three. And I think the DLC is only three parts. So basically after this, we will be done this whole, the whole DLC. Alright, now it's time to find Gusto so we can go and give him all of the stars. Same thing that happened with part one and part two. He is going to tell us to buy one of his like weather things. So I'm going to have to go and get some materials to buy that. Once I buy it, that's basically done. The whole DLC is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've seen all of the other videos that I made for the whole DLC, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. Let me know what you guys think of the DLC. I thought this one was a billion times better than the Coast of Krokia. I just loved how, first of all, it was longer. There was so much more to do. These vaults were, some of them were just impossible. So I'd love to hear your guys' comments and your thoughts. Definitely leave those in the comments down below. And also leave a like because it does help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!